Okay, so this is another update on the Eon Scara kind of robot arm slash 3D printer. So at the moment, I have got the eight or the Duet hooked up, got power supply switches, all that jazz. Um, got the cable chain running. It's an, it's not actually being used right now. I just have the cables kind of there are some cables sitting here, but I do have some ribbon cable. I have some ribbon cable running through the chains. Those will be used later. Um, yeah, but at the moment I have the motor for the proximal arm hooked up for the distal arm hooked up and then I do have the motor for the z-axis mounted, but it's not actually plugged in right now It's just kind of hanging out because The two main things to work on are getting the proximal and distal arm working So yeah, as you see everything's hooked up all the bands are working um, well, and then if I go over to the duet uh, control and I press go on this command uh, you can kind of see it move so that's nearly full range in that direction um, and then if I take this other G code and put it in um, it'll move around in the other direction and if you can see the movement isn't that shaky when it stops it, it, it vibrates a little bit but it's not that bad that can be changed with acceleration and jerk control um, but overall, for like not having any end stops, um, I do have room for them. There's like magnetic, like magnets here and magnets here um, for magnetic end stops, and there'll be one on the wrist as well. But for just like manual movement and trying to get like all of the firmware kind of working, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, the next probably big thing is going to be working out how I want the end stops to work. So here, here, and then I'm going to have a Z max and a Z min end stop just to make sure everything's good. Um, and then once I get the end stops working, all of the calibration working, I'm going to work on getting the wrist worked or the wrist joint working. So that'll be here and that'll just allow the wrist to kind of move like your wrist does. Um, and that'll just add an extra degree of freedom for the bot. But so far I'm, kind of, I'm fairly happy with this. The movements aren't exact yet I still have to do a little bit of calibration but they're within a I don't know three degrees probably of just like some basic calculations and seeing how it'll work so there probably won't be another update for quite a while because I'm going off to college but uh, so far I'm kind of happy with the progress and uh, I'll probably make some other videos once you know more progress happens <laughs>